A 17-year-old Mead boy is dead after a drug overdose, and police say this may be a homicide if the drugs he took were laced with deadly additives. Police also say tonight is the night for tough conversations with your own kids. Thanks for joining us. I'm Neil Wong. And I'm Aaron Luna. Police hope you'll help them spread the message that those street drugs may have fentanyl in them. It's 100 times more powerful than morphine, and you don't know if you're getting a deadly dose in what you buy. Along with the death of this Mead student, police near southern Idaho dealt with three overdoses in 48 hours. And Mayor, these conversations with parents aren't always easy. No, they're not, but it's a conversation that could really save your child's life. The death of this student in Mead is not an isolated incident. The CDC says 70,000 people die every single year from drug overdoses. This is the leading cause of injury-related deaths in the U.S., and the vast majority of those deaths involve legal or illegal opioids. Most teens encounter some kind of drug as they grow up. It may start with exposure to marijuana or prescription drugs, but that can quickly turn into drug abuse. If they think it's safe to do marijuana, how do they know it's not safe to do an opiate? Or if they see their friend do it one time, then they're going to be like, oh, they only did it one time. I can do that too. There's always a chance those black market drugs are laced with something else. Just the slightest bit of fentanyl can kill. My executive director just told me not too long ago that there was a man that had put his mother's ashes into a, a bag of marijuana and sold it. So you have no idea what people are putting into their into anything. That's why it's important to start a conversation with your teens, no matter how uncomfortable that can be. Have them be honest with you. Like, yeah, I've tried it. And then sit down with them and say, okay, now that you tried it, you know, what are we going to do about preventing it again? Or what can I do to help you not do it again? It's important to know who your teens hang out with. Oftentimes you could have a talk with them, but their friends have an even bigger influence. Having teen, uh, teenagers have that support within their home, in their schools, in their own, own environment, even with friends, having that one friend that they can go to and say, hey, I have this problem, can you help me? It's also important to lock up prescription drugs at home. Almost half of all teens say it's easy to get prescription drugs from a parent's medicine cabinet. In fact, one in four teens says they've taken a prescription drug that wasn't prescribed to them. Now, it's important for you to understand what drug abuse looks like. Look for these signs within your teens. Fatigue, red or glazed eyes. Those could be some initial diagnosis symptoms that your teen is facing. Now, sudden mood changes, that's something you see in every teenager. So it's hard to see when they act like that without drugs, but that's why it's so important to just start a conversation in the first place. Live in studio tonight, Mayor Kawash, 4 News Now.